Oh, what's going on, everybody? It's been a while. You know, I've been trying to film this prep, but I have not done a very good job of vlogging consistently and letting things kind of drift for weeks without any sort of update. And this is my one problem, my one, the one thing I'm just inconsistent with videoing it. And here's the reason why. Like, prep is very mechanistic for me. It's very, very mechanical. It's not like this. I know everybody's like, oh, it's like, it's so exciting. It's really just like mechanical for me, just following the macros, following the check-ins, training consistently. And for me, it's never, you know, everybody's got this magical 12 to 16 week process, um, which is mostly wrong. Um, that mainly stems from the NPC side. It doesn't really stem from the natty side or it stems from people on the natty side who most of the time I would say don't have a clue as to what they're doing. Um, for those who are experienced naturals, especially pros, we know usually it's going to take us longer than 16 weeks to get ready if we're going to bring the proper conditioning and package to stage without sacrificing too much muscle um, and I actually expect to win. So anyway, just to give you an update, I forget and I did not look back to the videos of where I left off. Um, currently, it's the week of April 11th. Uh, I'm about 18 weeks out or so from the show in Washington, D.C., which is the OCB Presidential Cup. Uh, and I have officially hit 190.5 pounds as my new low. My average weight is down about a pound or so week over week from obviously last week. So I don't remember where the last check-in was to now, but I think it's been like three or four pounds. Um, but I am down to 190 and a half. Uh, I am looking pretty lean, pretty grainy already. I feel like I'm carrying more size now than ever. Uh, and I know I think I've said that every prep and that's because... You know, I've, I've put the time in and I believe that everything has gotten better. My legs look bigger and fuller. My quads are definitely more developed uh, than in previous years. Um, overall, staying pretty healthy. Currently, um, my macros daily are about 220 grams of protein, 315 grams of fat. Oh, <laughs> fat, yeah. 315 grams of carbs uh, and probably around 65, 70 grams of fat a day. Um, I was doing refeeds that were way higher um, as of like a week or so ago. It was 435 grams every Saturday on a refeed. Right now we've dropped that down to 415 grams of carbs on a refeed. Um, overall, I have to say with the daily protein coming, uh, daily carbs coming down, uh, that I am feeling a little bit more hungry. Uh, I would say more so than I have in previous preps. I think just because we work so hard to get food up to a certain point. Um, that my body is actually starting to feel uh, some of the hunger symptoms probably earlier. Not complaining, just talking about how I'm feeling. Overall, sleep quality is pretty good. Um, I'm measuring that. I'm still tracking through my whoop. Uh, I am starting to realize that every two or three days that my recovery is starting to tank um, to the point where I'm probably 50% or below recovered according to the whoop assessment. And again, it's just something I'm keeping track of. I'm really not letting it affect me training in the gym. If I'm scheduled to train, I train. However, I am being careful to notice that when my body feels like it's too beat up, uh, if and where I may need to just take a rest day earlier and then resume the next day to make sure that I can continue this pace uh, for the next 17 weeks. Uh, back in 2018, for those of you who followed my last prep, I had a right shoulder issue, uh, which was discovered that I had an impingement. Um, Lately, it's been starting to flare up a little bit again. This seems to happen now. Every time I start to lean out, my body fat starts to drop a little bit. Um, and overall, I think my body doesn't hold water the same way because it's just going through my system faster as I lean out. So I'm being very careful with that shoulder. I do not want it to flare up or become almost uh, not be able to manage the inflammation. So being very uh, careful with my form, listening to my body a lot better than probably in previous years. Um, and really focusing overall on the recovery aspect. Outside of that, um, mentally, I'm, I'm starting to lock in. Like I was really kind of very jittery at the beginning and nervous. I can start to feel myself settling down a little bit and just getting into this is what it's going to be. Here we're going to go. The results are going to be what they're going to be. Um, obviously, I want to do well. The goal is to always win. But again, I'm in a subjective sport. I have to be willing to understand that I can run into people that are considered better than me and may just, in fact, be better than me. Um, that's okay. I'm just going to hang my hat on. I gave this prep everything I have to give, as usual. 
didn't cut any corners, really did what I needed to do in the off season, even with the bicep injury that I had. Um, and just gonna, you know, obviously throw the kitchen sink at it and make sure that I'm ready to go, uh, come August, obviously with qualifying, hopefully for Yorton cup. Um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, if I don't qualify for Yorton, I do have a safety show here in New Jersey with the AMBF that I will plan on doing, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and I don't mean safe as in easy and I'm guaranteed to win. I just mean that if for some reason Yorton does not come to fruition, um, I do have a show in September that I'm looking at to do locally. Um, and then obviously Mr. America in October. Uh, I also did submit my name. Uh, Mr. America is looking for uh, to do their reality show filming uh, contestants again. I did make a submission a couple weeks ago. I haven't heard anything yet, uh, but I did put my name in just to see if I would be considered. I'm waiting to see if I'd hear anything back. I'm assuming at this point, if I haven't heard, probably I wasn't considered. But hey, like I've said in life, I'm just trying to lean into things that make me uncomfortable. And had I been selected, or if I am selected, I will proceed forward with that. Uh, I'm also just getting a couple clients ready for show themselves. I think I have two clients five weeks out from show. Uh, and then I have another client, Joey, who's in prep, who will be doing the AMBF show in September and also doing Mr. America in October. Uh, so got all that going on. Uh, meanwhile, my son has just started baseball season. He's five. He's doing junior minors, not T-ball. So taking care of that um, and just trying to enjoy time with him and let him do his thing. So just trying to balance it all. Work's been busy. Nothing normal, no, nothing new there. Um, and that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoy the updates and talk to you next time.